Leo Tastic here. Welcome back. And we're gonna finish this BZ. Alright, Iron for Mice. Milady. You. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been there? It's kinda weird. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just well, passing good. by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. <laughs> okay. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. Mm-hmm. I just want you to know. I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I couldn't fit it in the black plastic bag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so thing. Where that bloody hell is Duncan? Now fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It, is a good it one. will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Something wrong with your gate? Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You may enter. <laughs> oh, may we? How gracious of the Lord to allow us in. And you said he wasn't a proper Lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Yep. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. It sure My is. father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Nope. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Should be. Oh, so he comes in the hall anyway. 
That's stupid. Might as well just meet him in there. Maybe just some time. <laughs> Look at that. More forest. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Oh, good. I got his attention. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Okay. Anyone can say they're loyal. I have to. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Oh, fantastic. The crown, however, wants what you Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. Fair enough. <laughs> that sort of insolence from one of our loyal Bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Uh, yeah. We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Mm-hmm. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Aww. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Boom! To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan! They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. So he had his plan, like, you already? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, oh the twinsies. Twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well... <laughs> Hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. That's gross. I never had a sister. 
always want. Um. Leave my sister alone. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn oh, wolf. No. Oh, Ramsey, that's enough. No. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? What have you done? No! But I don't yes. want a bold no. lord. Oh. Far too much trouble. Oh, no. oh, dude. Even though you did ban to me. I, so... I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan. Ethan. Come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your wolf. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah, Somebody really help me! Fetch the mixer quickly! You brought this on yourself. Seriously? Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! me. You will not take Stop him! No, please! Ryan, please! No! no. no. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Well, he lasted a while. So I messed up. Oh, our story just now started. <laughs> Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan, too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Ooh. <sighs> oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and 65.8% stayed with Bowen. You and 62.4% swore loyalty to the king. You and 16.1% took Eric's fingers. Of course I did. You and 30.9% picked Royland as Sentinel. Wow, really? Huh. You and 49.9% met Ramsey at the gate. Oh, so that one's like a 50-50 shot there. Alright, that is the end of the first episode. Iron from Ice! Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.